and it's Friday today and it's almost 4 p.m. I'm tired, if you guys can't tell, but it's okay, we're gonna keep pushing. Um, this is the time where we usually do like company-wide performance reviews. If you don't know our performance review, good. <laughs> I'm glad you don't. <laughs> but honestly, to be quite frank with you guys, this is like my least favorite thing about working in corporate America is that like the company or companies across the world, like well, I guess I'm just gonna talk about the US, like companies across the US have this standard of um, at the end of the year or the beginning, okay. Um, I guess Hachi wants to take over. Ma'am? Ma'am? Um. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you, appreciate it. Um, performance reviews are something that you do at the end of the year or the beginning of the next year where you talk about what you've accomplished throughout the year and then uh, people give you feedback, people you've worked with, and then uh, you're, you sit with, down with your manager and then your manager goes and talks to HR and then they decide off of this like very arbitrary rules whether you did good or not. Um, from my experience throughout my career, this has been really difficult. Yeah, so from my experience, it's been really difficult for me and I think a lot of people would probably share the same sentiment. sentiment. Uh, it seems like performance reviews are not really based on performance, but they're based on arbitrary rules and like standards where you stand compared to everyone else. Um, what I mean by that is, for example, sometimes, not sometimes, like literally the majority of the time, every performance review, I would be given really good feedback. Um, people I work with would say, I've done, a, I've done a great job, I've taken leaders, leadership positions. Uh, I've accomplished a lot, I've delivered so many things on time, and I would sit down with my manager and I would write this very long performance review about the things that I've done and talk to my manager. My manager says, oh my god, great, you've done amazing, We've, you've got great feedback, good job, continue doing what you're doing. And then they go, well, um, because, or just because you've done like 150%, so you went above and beyond, you went 50%, above and beyond the work you were supposed to do, it does not mean that we're gonna rank you really high and it does not mean that you're gonna get a really high um, appraisal or like performance, fucking merit percentage, whatever. And it's like the single most demoralizing thing that I have ever like experienced working as a full-time engineer. And it feels like no one really appreciates the work that you do or they really don't care. It almost like it doesn't really matter like if I were to do the bare minimum or if I were to go go above and beyond I would still be almost the same as if I did the bare minimum and I am an overachiever and I don't really like to think that I'm doing the bare minimum in my job especially in a job that I really love but holy crap <laughs> it is literally so demoralizing and every year I have my high high like my high hopes like through the roof I'm like okay well, maybe this year is gonna be different Maybe this year, someone, my new manager or my old manager is gonna realize, well, maybe we should like give her something, you know? Maybe we should raise her, uh, increase her merit percentage or blah, 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 whatever. But it just never happens. It just never happens. I feel like when I was in college, um, it was so easy to know if you're doing right or if you're doing the right thing or if you're doing uh, well or you're exceeding because when you take the test, the test tells you you got a 90, 95, whatever, and you know, okay, I'm doing great, I am performing amazing because I studied, I took the test, and I did well. However, when you go to the work workforce, it is the, the line starts blurring. And even though companies will tell you, oh, we are striving towards being uh, open about our, our performance review process, and honestly, there's nothing open about it. I have never been with a company that were actually transparent, that were transparent about their performance process. Um, last year, the, funny enough, uh, the manager I had <laughs> pretty much said that it was like curving. You know how like sometimes you take tests and your professors have to curve the exam results, but it's the opposite. So instead of usually, oh, my cats are fighting. Chill out. Instead of curving the class, forward they curve people backwards to fit the uh to fit the 
the distribution, like the bell distribution. And I hate it. I really hate it. It like makes me feel so sad every time. And uh, it makes me sometimes wonder like, why am I doing all this shit? Like, why am I going above and beyond, taking on uh, responsibilities, responsibilities outside of my scope? And I don't know, I'm like kind of hoping, you know, this is gonna be my seventh year, sixth year, hopefully, you know, six, six sounds like a good number, you know? Six years sounds like a good number. Maybe the sixth time is gonna be great because uh, last year it was so bad uh, that they like, I don't know, I don't even wanna talk about the percentage raise that I got because it really does not count whatsoever, but. Anyways, yeah, I'm preparing for that. So today I was writing the, the review for myself and kind of taking in people's feedback and all. So we'll see how it goes. I will keep you guys updated. Um, I feel like this thing, these type of things, people do not really tell us about when, like what to expect once you get into the workforce. I know a lot of us are so kind of uh, focused on getting a job, starting working, but then once all of that, the uh, I guess like excitement about getting the new job kind of wears off and now it settles in that you have responsibilities and things you have to do and like people you have to manage and people you have to interface with and performance reviews you have to do and you have a manager you have to like get back go back and forth with it really people don't tell you what happens after because like your life is what happens after you get the job right getting the job is great getting paid for it is great but then what happens after that becomes your reality the re reality is that you have to wake up every day and do the job you're doing and interface with the people you're working with and having performance reviews and stuff like that but really no one talks about stuff like that and i feel like i wish someone told me <laughs> so that i don't get disappointed or think that i'm doing something wrong but over time I'm realizing that it's just a broken process. The process is just just sucks. It really it really does and I don't know how to change it. Maybe I would need to become a manager myself and then also I don't even think it's the manager's problem. It's literally HR. HR is the one that makes the rules, the arbitrary rules for stuff like that. And even the manager like they can't really do much about it. So I just long story short, I just don't know. I don't know what the answer is and uh yeah, let me let me know. Let me know. You, like, I want to hear what you guys' experience has been with like doing performance reviews and things like that. I know a lot of you are already in the field working, so I'm curious to see if you guys share the same experience as I have. Anyways, I'm going on a crazy rant. Um, what's going on? Is it food time? I know, I know, I know. Okay, okay, Jesus. I just literally World War II every time I feed my cats. Holy frick. Gathering. I've been pretty obsessed with Magic the Gathering nowadays. I wonder if any of you play the game. It's really fun. I'm like, I'm not like new at it, but it's really fun. Dude, like I, I, I had to tell my mom. I'm just like, I ain't worried about this. Bye, I had such a hard day yesterday. Uh, I usually used to get really bad migraines when I was in college, and for some reason. Yesterday, I was just working and it hit me like a sack of brick. You know those type of migraines where you can't even look at the light or you can't even look at your computer? It just gonna hit me out of nowhere and I had to be in a dark room. So I literally went to sleep at 6 p.m. and woke up the next day. And I was, I was like about to throw up, it was so bad. So yesterday I could not go to the gym. So I'm going today instead. It was a pretty busy day. I was stuck in meetings all day. I even forgot to pick up the camera. But I told myself yesterday, if I feel better today, I'm gonna go. Because I made a promise to myself that I'm gonna make working out more of a 
like lifestyle habit. So at least work out three times a week. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Good thing is that I have a really nice gym at my apartment complex. So I'm just gonna go downstairs. It's upper body today and I'm gonna do a quick workout and then I don't know what after that. <laughs>